when somebody else wants something from you, then it is important for you to know what your limit is. So somebody else has to know when they're having a desire that goes towards you that their desire is welcome and they have to know that they need to respect your limits. So if people don't know that, then it's really a hardcore negotiation. So you can, you can detect that the easiest way that somebody is not in alignment when they're testing your limits. So if there comes a real desire towards you, this person has to do these two things. They have to own their desire and they have respect that you have a limit. Because when you have a limit, you have the same rights. When you have a limit, it's not about what you want. It's about what you're willing to. And when it's about what you want and what the other person wants, you have to put what, that's the first step, you have to put aside what you want and you have to respect your limits. So you have to do the two things as well. So the two things has to be on your expression and the two things has to be on the expression of the other person who has a desire. So when you put yourself aside what you want, so when it's not about your desire, when it's about the other person's desire and you respect your limits, in your limits, you have a spectrum of limits. In the spectrum of limits, there is not only black and white. So there's an entire universe of negotiation in between that. When somebody is asking you what they want and you put your desire aside and expressing your limits, you might have a hell yes, I want that too. Let's go <laughs> do it. But it's still for the other person because they requested it. It's still for the other. You can be completely a fuck hell enthusiastic. Yes, <laughs> finally, I can give that. Hallelujah. So it's a, it's a full body yes then it can be yes um i'm totally willing to do that but you know just for you i'm not going to do that for anyone for everybody I, i'm totally willing to do this exactly just only for you and maybe just only this one time but i'm totally willing to then the next one is yes i'm willing to do that and here is a limit yeah my limit is a time limit or my limit is a body part limit, or my limit is a, a space limit, whatever your limit is. Yeah. Uh, yes, I can do that with you, and I have a limit. Um, yes, I'm going with you to the movies, but I'm not going to a horror movie. Yes, I'm going to movies, but I'm not looking at romance, whatever your limit is. Then there is the entire spectrum of the maybe in between. A maybe is actually a no and just need more information. A maybe can be yes, but, and setting a boundary. So the boundary could be yes, but not today. Oh, I'm curious about that. Tell me more. I can't really grasp it yet. Sounds okay, but I'm not really having all details that I need to um, give a full answer to that. So how long will it take? What's, what does it mean? What will entail? Yeah, so the information needed. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, it's a maybe and a maybe is a no. Uncertain. Yeah, no, yeah, no, mm, mm, no, yeah, no. Kind of just like it's not a yes. <laughs> Saying no and offering something else. I'm not willing to do that and neither today nor next week. But um, I'm okay doing that. No, but you can ask me again. Ask me in a year or ask me when I'm feeling different. No, but thank you for asking. And just like, are you fucking insane asking me that? So a no is a full sentence and no doesn't need any explanation. But with a yes is, if you hear a yes or if you give a yes, 
there are three indicators of yes. The first one is you need a verbal yes. Yes. You need the body language yes. Yeah. And you need your gut feeling if somebody said yes, or if you say yes yourself, or you just pretend a fool just like yes, but actually your your eyes and your body says just like what am I saying yes into? Yeah. So so if one of the three yeses is not there, it's a maybe, and that actually is a no. So you need the three yeses when you express yourself, and normally you need three yeses from somebody else if there is a yes. All right, so yes is a yes, no is a no, maybe is a no and needs more information. So without having a clear yes, you can't have a clear yes without having a clear no. Um, question, how does it feel yes saying no? And how does it feel saying no, meaning yes? Uh, no is a full sentence, doesn't need any explanation. It's important information for the other person to have. You can't trust your yes if you can't say no. Having clear limits and saying no is saying yes to yourself. Um, essential for finding your no or your yes is having enough time to choose. So pressure is most of the case an indicator that somebody else is not respecting that you might have a limit. <clears throat> 